Hi, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a ping test on my connection, which is FastSilico. That's my current connection, which I previously uh, made a video about the speed and ping and everything. It was one week ago before I made this one, which is uh, this video you're currently watching right now. So, if you're a FastSilico subscriber, and you're experiencing a high ping average around 140, 130 to 160, then there is a fix for you, which is using a virtual private network or a VPN in that case. Uh, if you don't know about VPN and stuff like that, I would advise you to watch any video or just Google search Wikipedia and you could find out what VPN is all about or what does a VPN do. And, and again, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. <coughs> virtual Private Network. So, in this website, which I open, it usually advises or, you know, just lists the top 10 best VPNs in 2017, uh, which you can simply just Google top 10 best VPN and just type the year. Because every year there are new services or the services that are um, previously worst, you know, the last year it will get better over the new year or it will improve so the best the best VPN at the moment for uh, everything is ExpressVPN but it's really expensive the one I'm using which fixed my pings in my personal experience but I never use ExpressVPN but I've used PureVPN I've I have a two-year uh, sub uh, subscription with PureVPN which is here on the taskbar, which I will be run, running it now. I'm going to run it, but before I run the program out, let me show you my pings at the moment. Uh, I'm going to run a ping tester, which has been which has been made by my be one of my best friends, which I always play with or game with, um, especially in CSGO, and that is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So... We play on a platform in that game called ESCA, which is a community league um, or pickup game mode or competitive environment, uh, if you will. So we usually play on that platform in the game, and it's really competitive, and it always better to have the lowest ping possible to compete against high-skilled players, because that platform is much better than the default matchmaking system, which is already built into the game. This is the, the community sided uh, platform to play in a league. So we usually play leagues. So he listed all the you know uh, the IPs for the servers that you, we usually play on and now I'm running with no VPN and these are my pings without the VPN. I'm not running the VPN. It is quite high and the client that runs that league recommends pings that are less than 125 millisecond and as you can see these are way above 125 millisecond so in order to fix that let me show you how to actually this program is already running so I'm going to open it and hit ping by the way, it really doesn't matter which VPN service you should use out of those top five at least, which are listed here when you Google. Uh, but usually the top four or three on these lists are really good and it should help out to reduce your ping if you're using a fast silico fiber because that's my experience with it. So I have tested Germany, France, Luxembourg and Netherlands I don't know if I even pronounced Luxembourg or Luxembourg right. I feel so cringe now. And Isle of Man, I've tested these and I usually get higher ping than I would get without the VPN. So for some reason, if I you know, select Switzerland, I get much lower ping, which I'm going to do right now. It's connecting. Right, 
I'm gonna wait for it until it sends all the traffic or the data to the VPN server so it will keep me fully connected. Alright, that's enough. And let me run the ping tester, which my friend made actually. As you can see, I got much lower ping. 100, 200, 2, you know, or 111, 114 millisecond, 109. So let me run it again. As you can see, it's pretty low. So this is the demonstr like the demonstration that I did to show you guys uh, how this will fix your ping if you're a Fast Silico subscriber. And talking about speed, because I know most of you who are watching this video will say, "Okay, you're using a VPN, but how would we know if the speed won't get affected?" Well, I can run uh, I can run you a test, no problem. I can just refresh the speed test because my IP is actually you know changed and just hit begin test and I can show you how well this works so my ping should be the same as listed in the um, you know pure VPN and it's even lower and I'm subscribed to 50 megabits per second which is upload and download which costs 45 Kuwaiti dinars a month yeah so 50 megabits cost 45 Kuwaiti dinars per month which is ex like really expensive but you would get the sat satisfaction of having a high-speed internet just like that so as you can see my speeds are not that bad considering I'm running on a VPN so yeah and if you would like to try upload uh, which I don't think I should do it now like you just saw the speed it's fine it, it connects like even if I just type for example it's actually in Arabic let me change it to English even if I could type what is my IP just to confirm you guys that I'm running on the VPN and it's working fine you can see that my IP is different and you can, you can even see the Google is in a different language so they can a little bit of long time to connect but let me open another tab actually yeah this one worked as you can see everything is totally not English so this is the state in Switzerland so if you can see here Zurich and if I go here it's the same Zurich so it works fine and this way it will fix your ping because it redirects or lets your data of you know your of your internet traffic directs to the server that you're trying to connect to like it doesn't your routing doesn't scatter all over the place that's what VPN does that's why your connection get directed to the server and you get lower pings because it you know it goes on one or yeah I think I believe two or one routes to that server you're trying to connect to so that's why it lowers the ping drastically but if you're not using a VPN it will mess up with your you know connection sometimes depending on your internet service provider and it will just scatter all over the place and that's why you get higher pings unless if your internet service provider has a good routing I'm sorry if this video passed nine minutes but this is how I do the um, you know the fix for the fast silico fiber that I have currently. I hope you guys enjoyed the enjoyed the video. If you didn't understand a few things, just rewind back and you could understand better. And yeah, as always, peace out and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully in the future. Goodbye.